Hello, everyone, and welcome to our learning series on five features to support reopening. Today, we will be taking a look at live streaming. This is a challenging time for our industry. We're here for you, we're thinking of you, and we hope the information we are sharing today can help you strengthen your business and serve your guests when the time comes to welcome them back to your venue. My name is Missy Chamberlain, and I am a sales engineer for Accesso Showwear. The reality is that technology has always been a critical piece of the puzzle for live entertainment. We believe strongly that your technology should give you the tools you need to solve problems, not create them. Today, we'll specifically be talking about our Accesso Showware box office ticketing solution. Accesso Showware serves a variety of live entertainment venues around the globe. Our highly customizable white label platform is designed to deliver to sold out houses and standing ovations. With over 600 installations in theaters, concert venues, sports arenas, casinos, fairs and attractions, our box office ticketing solution is a proven success. In this learning series, we're introducing you to five features within the Accesso Shower platform that can help you reopen safely during this unprecedented time. Today, we will be focusing on live streaming. Our new integration with Wowza offers live streaming capabilities for our clients. Since most venues are experiencing capacity limitations, offering live stream performances can help increase revenue for your shows and offer your patrons the ability to view these shows without taking a seat in your theater. Streaming can also open your geographic reach for ticket sales. Increasing your market strategy to reach outside your normal geographical area can also result in a newfound revenue boost. So let's take a quick look at this functionality. So we are looking at our demo site, um, and we're gonna talk a little bit about our new functionality, live streaming. Again, it's through a partnership with Wowza. There is a system toggle on the back end of the system that needs to be activated for you to even be able to see the live streaming capability. So what we're gonna do in this short demo is just to go through a live demo is, or go through a live ticket sale, and then we'll go to the back end and just show you quickly how, um, how this can be set up. So our Christmas Carol, you're gonna easily see that I've enabled live streaming. So I can easily just click on live streaming available here, and it's gonna give me a quick understanding of a site message about live streaming itself. If I click into my particular event, and if I go to a performance, and we'll go to see December 2nd, you're gonna again see the live streaming available button. If I were to click on this, again, it gives us this message, but now it gives me the green go ahead message, the purchase live stream. If I choose not to do that, I wanna show you the ability as well, just to click on the buy tickets button and it'll bring me into our interactive seat map, but also adds a separate line. So this is a live streaming available. So right from here, I could either A, pick seats myself and go to the live performance and sit in seats or purchase a live stream. Our next page will show a uh, customized message, live streaming message. So you can go in on the back end and change this message to present specific information to your patrons about your live streaming capabilities. You're gonna see my live streaming price point. And then if I click on purchase live stream, it's gonna bring me into my basket. From my basket, I have the ability to just to proceed to checkout. You're gonna see here, I can only empty my cart. I cannot continue shopping. The reason is, is that you can only have live streaming in a basket. So we cannot support a mixed basket in this functionality. So I'll go ahead and proceed to checkout. And all I'm going to do is just finalize my sale as quickly as I can get through it. Um, my delivery method is auto automatically been set to live streaming. So again, you're going to see live streaming uh, delivery method information. I'll pay for this, I'll decline my insurance, 
I'll pick my how did you hear about us, my privacy statement, and then I'm going to place my order. So once I complete my purchase, I have the ability to pull up my order. So here I have my order. Um, again, you're going to see that this is a streaming access ticket. You're going to see my customized message. And instead of viewing a printed home ticket or a mobile ticket, we're seeing a view stream ticket. If I click on the view stream ticket, it's going to automatically bring me to my account. So it's important to know that it requires a patron login. So for our venues that are utilizing live streaming, maybe you don't want to utilize a guest checkout um, because it's going to send all patrons to their account to be able to pick up their streaming, um, their streaming events and performances. So you can see I've got my Christmas Carol. It has not started yet and it is reading as not active, but the day of performance, 10, 15 minutes prior to performance, this not active is going to turn green and it's going to say join screen, join stream. So uh, from here, all I would have to do is click on the join stream and now I am viewing this live streaming performance from my TV, my laptop, my desktop, whatever, whatever media I want to be able to use. So we talked a little bit about how easy it is to be able to do this. So let's go into the back end here and take a look at how to set this up. So as I said, it's a system toggle. Once that toggle is turned on in the back end, uh, you have the ability to be able to um, associate it with a performance. So going to a performance, and we'll go see A Christmas Carol again. And I'm just going to pull up a performance that does not have live streaming attached to it. If I slide down on the general systems tab, you're going to easily see that I have an enable streaming link. Clicking that link will then allow me to be able to, A, I don't want to disable, or I can set up my seat map streaming information. By doing so, it automatically will create a tab called streaming. And when I open up that streaming tab, it will automatically create the stream for me based on the performance that was built. So it's going to know what date and time that performance is. You do have some options here, though, that you can change. So you can change your resolution. So it can be that 720 resolution or 1080 resolution. And again, this is done at the performance level. So maybe different performances need different resolutions. You're going to set up your broadcast location. Where is the closest location? So you're going to, again, set it up, whether you're West Coast, East Coast, etc. You do have closed caption opportunities as well, so you can turn that on. And you also have the ability to do a watermark URL. So as a venue, if you want to show your watermark URL you know, in a specific location, bottom left, bottom right, it will um, appear through the entire streaming of that particular performance. You do have to set up a username and a password, obviously for security permis permissions, and then I have the ability to create that new stream. So it's as simple as that. It's automatically created. Once you have your equipment in place, once a day of event happens, then you would just start your stream and everything would go to live streaming. Uh, your patrons, you know, viewing at home is having the ability to see everything that your patrons that are sitting in seats have the ability to see as well. It's also important to know that there is some reporting behind this, right? We want to know how many tickets have been sold via streaming. So if I go into my ticket inventory reports and I just take a quick look at my performance report details, we'll take a look at this one particular performance that we just sold to. And I'll just get the report really fast. So if I slide down my report, you're going to see that I do have a streaming column. And you're going to see how many tickets have been bought um, underneath the streaming capability. Uh, there's one other report, too. And that's going to be your, uh, your patron report that you're going to want to see what patrons um, are going to want to be seeing or are going to be attending the show. Uh, there is a second report, so you're going to want to know who is attending this particular performance, maybe not in-house, but uh, from the comforts of their own home. So underneath our patron uh, reporting tab, you have the ability to look at patron ticket sales. Patron ticket sales have the ability to do it at the performance level. So again, that same performance. 
And this is a downloadable report as well. I can just quickly get the report and now you can see that all of these different patrons have purchased that live streaming ticket. So again, um, easy toggle turn on to, to do this. Uh, the streaming capability appears on the front end that I showed you. Uh, setting it up on the back end uh, is super easy and then we've got a few reports that are gonna round everything out for you. Thank you everyone for watching today's video on live streaming and check back soon for more videos in our series on reopening safely with the Accesso Shower platform. If you have questions or would like to learn more about our Accesso Shower solution, please contact sales at accesso.com and have a great day.